Well, to celebrate our 20th anniversary of Lakeland News, we are taking a look back at some of the memorable local stories we've covered over the years. We're calling it 20 for 20. 20 stories in all, one for each of the 20 years we've been on the air with Lakeland News. Now, in the spring of 2017, the state legislature approved a bill that allowed for the sale of alcohol from liquor stores on Sundays in Minnesota. Governor Mark Dayton signed the bill, and on July 2nd, liquor stores across the state opened on Sunday for the first time since Minnesota became a state in 1858. Reporter Mel Meyer recapped the historic occasion for us. Customers started rolling into the parking lot well before opening. After 16 years in the biz... I've seen a lot of openings and even a holiday. This has been... This has been awesome. Aaron Rickles is in town visiting family, but also knew about this occasion. Well, I have to go. It's a historic occasion, so we headed over, getting some, some booze for the, the fourth. It's for that exact reason that people are looking forward to getting rid of the pain of planning. I always had to plan on Saturdays to plan for the weekend and whatever kind of events happened on Sundays. The impact on specific liquor stores has varied, but overall liquor, beer and wine tax receipts were up for the state during the first year of Sunday sales. The reporter who compiled that story, Mel Meyer, is now a reporter at WKBT-TV in La Crosse, Wisconsin. And you can watch that entire story on our website, lptv.org, tomorrow. Now that wraps up our 20 for 20 series, but we've decided to include one bonus story for the year 2018, which is almost over now. So you can learn more about that story next Wednesday night. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.